Hello and welcome to GK Today. In this video, we will discuss what is a butterfly mine, how it works and role of United Nations. So let's begin. Recently butterfly mines were in news because the UK Ministry of Defence in its intelligence assessment of the ongoing war in Ukraine has indicated on the possible use of PFM1 series butterfly mines by the Russian military to stop the freedom of movement along its defensive lines in Donbass. Now the question is what is a butterfly mine? These are the anti-personal mines which are used to deter freedom of movement of local people. There are two kinds of anti-personal land mines that are commonly referred to as butterfly mines or green parrots. These names are derived from the shape and color of the mines. The PFM1 and PFM1S are the technical names. The main difference between the PFM1 and PFM1S mine is that the latter comes with a self-destruction mechanism which gets activated within 1 to 40 hours. The butterfly mine particularly attracts children because it looks like a colored toy. It is very sensitive and just the act of picking it up can activate it. These mines are also difficult to detect because they are made of plastic and can evade metal detectors. The explosive pact is relatively lesser, that is why it offers injuries and makes the handler limbless rather than killing. How it works? Butterfly mines can be deployed in the field via several means. They can be dropped through ballistic dispersion by means of artillery and mortar shells or from helicopters. The PFM series mines are molded in polythene plastic and have two wings, one of which is heavier than the other. The thicker wing is the pressure activation of for the main fuse which is contained in the central body. The thinner wing acts as a stabilizer for the mine when it is airdropped, thus giving it the name butterfly. As per data available on the mine, a pressure exceeding 5 kg will activate the mine which contains 40 grams of explosive. Now let's look at a history of this butterfly mine. Soviet Afghan war and butterfly mine. By some estimates, more than a million butterfly mines litter Afghanistan and were airdropped in valleys and mountains passes to impede the movement of the Afghan Mujahideen. PFM-1 was also used during the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. Now what is the role of United Nations in this matter? The anti-personal mines are banned by the United Nations Convention on certain conventional weapons but Russia and Ukraine are not signatory to it. However, there is a 1996 amendment protocol to the Convention on Certain Conventional Weapons, the Landmines Protocol to which Russia and Ukraine are signatory. That is all in today's session. See you soon.